You guys drink? Of yes, course. Sir. Well, it's about to be a pretty expensive shot for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep waiting for them to say that's good. <laughs> Not exciting. Am I good? Yeah. I hate a good putt. We're going to count it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Good ball. Sweet swing. Try. Watch this one. Never mind. Don't watch it. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Pick it up! <laughs>Playing about 140 yards, just a little wedge to the middle of the green. The weather was cool, greens are rolling good, a little slick, downhill putt for the first one. Just trying to learn the pace and get used to the golf course. Not bad. Easy par, let's go. Good way to get started. Hole 9 typically plays as one of the toughest holes on the golf course. It plays back into the wind to one of the longer holes. Pretty tough tee shot. Trey hit his tee shot to the left. So we'll choose mine on this one and play from the right hand side in the rough. By the skin of my teeth. <laughs> Problem is it's a blind I shot. I'm gonna hit right into the The pin is well back on the back right hand side of the green and there's a bunker that's well below the green surface on the right hand side so you've got to stay to the left to give yourself a chance at par. <laughs> Train nukes that three wood but into the wind on an upslope it only goes 160 yards. Good shot, boy. Luckily it leaves us just short of the green in a good spot. I choose a four iron. I'm trying to flight it a little lower and let it cut into the green. It's a pretty good swing, but it hangs out to the left and stays up in one of the mounds in the rough. We'll choose Trey's shot for our second. Wow. That's a good eight, eight feet left, nine feet left. The hole is well back there, it's well over 100 feet to get back to the pen, uphill most of the way, but it should feed to the hole late. Hard. Hard. And that's well done. I thought I left it short, but you can see it hopped early and took some of the pace off of it. Hit that hard enough, did I? In a good spot, 
but eight feet for par is never comfortable, even in a two-man scramble. Hell yeah, that's the toughest hole in the golf course, I think. Hole 10 is a par 5 that goes back with the wind. There's a bunker that's about 260 yards to carry in the middle of the fairway. It's a good spot to land if you can hit a good one. Trey smokes it. Right down the left hand side. Great shot. Frees me up for my swing. I can go at it pretty hard. And that was crushed. Nice. <laughs> Threw in 18 yards even with the wind, that was a big hit. Leaves us just about 140 yards in. Not bad for a par 5. The pin is tucked to the left, it's tough to get back there. Didn't expect you to putt it, but... I hit this really well. You too well. Too, did you? With the wind, it couldn't hold the green and it rolls to the back side. No Again, we'll play Trey's from the front of the green. The I didn't get Trey's chip, but he ran it well past. I needed to hit a good one here. And was a little bit tentative. Left some meat on the bone right, for Birdie. Right. A little disappointing after the big tee shot. Just 8 to 10 feet left for Birdie. Pretty easy, all you gotta do is get up and make it. Yes, Good plan. You can see his ball ends up just outside where I was pointing at him. And it didn't turn. <gasps> Mine did. It's never good when three holes in, you're questioning your putting stroke. Five. But he did push a few. I mean, the first one, the first hole. You definitely kind of cut across. So that's two good pars and one bad one. The 11th hole is short par 4, but back into the wind. Trey smokes it right down the middle. Perfect shot. I bailed out a bit. Still hit a good one. We had approximately the same distance in, but Trey was in the middle of the fairway. We'll use his. Just a little wedge in. Good opportunity for birdie. Trey hits a good one that ends up just short of the green. I flight this one a little lower. Thought I hit it too hard, but got the distance just right into the wind. Good look for birdie. Thank you. Got what? Again, just 8 to 10 feet. Good birdie look. Should break a little to the left. <gasps> his wiggled late, but it didn't do a lot. It was one of his better putts for the first couple holes. I hit a good putt, we're going to count it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like oh, it. I like it. Man. <laughs> After two good pars and one bad one, we needed this to get the ball rolling. 
That was the center of the cup. <laughs> Pick it up! That didn't break. I mean, that's pretty straight. You guys drink? What's that? You guys drink? Of course. Oh, yeah. It's about to be a pretty expensive shot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Oh, out. This is a tough shot because it's just a wedge with the wind behind you, but there's not a lot of room in front of the pin to land it. And if you fly it to the pin, it'll roll over the green. I hit that perfect. I only carried the bunker by a few feet. That's the tough part. Again, eight feet for birdie. We've had a lot of really close looks. Good looks for par, but these are uncomfortable putts for a two-man scramble. Easy to miss. And that one races by. I've been putting well early, but this is going to take another good stroke to get in for birdie. Keep the momentum going the right way. We're four holes in and Trey and I start talking about his putting. He's missed several putts where it looks like the ball is actually cutting, almost like he's putting a slice stroke on it. And you can see when he takes the putter back and even in his follow through, he's kind of chasing it to the right, opening the club face. Cutting across it, open it the face to make sure you don't pull it. Man, I said this wasn't gonna be anything like playing into it. 13th hole is another par 5, straight away. Just try to keep it left of that bunker in the fairway and bombs away. I smoked this one as well. Simulator at my house, he always gives me a hard time saying I don't have uneven lies inside. Trey hit his to the left, but we had one in play, so. Yes, I am. No harm, no foul. Center of the fairway, about 220 yards to the pin. Sweet swing. Stay right there, sweetheart. It is uphill. Trey put a good smoke on a three wood. Pin high, just left of the green. I chose a four iron, hitting it back uphill. It felt like I smoked it. It was the wrong club. I thought at elevation I might get more out of it. I didn't. We used Trace Ball. <sighs> good opportunity to chip in. Just missed, but a good shot from Trey. Mine came out softer than I'd like, but it was tracking. Easy birdie. That's three in a row. With the marker, I love. <laughs> 14th hole is probably the second hardest hole on the golf course. Big dog leg right. You can choose how much of the corner you want to cut off. Trey's going to hit it about 260 ball, into the Trey. meat of the fairway. Great shot. Great shot. Hey, kid. Very nice. Yeah. Missed my target by three yards, man. His shot frees me up to take a more aggressive line and try to cut off a big piece of that corner. I gotta carry it about 270 to get to the fairway. Smoked it. Probably my best drive of the day. Freed me up there because I thought that was. Watch this one. It's just a wedge, but a pin that's tucked well to the left. Tough to get to. Trey does well to put it right near the green in a good spot. Watch it. it should have freed me up to take a more aggressive line at the pin, which is what I'm trying to do. Get it back to that back left pin. I thought I pushed it. 
It caught the right edge, but then it trickled back down the hill to a tough spot on the front of the green. Just wasn't lined up properly. Now we've got to putt over this big mound. This is a difficult putt. Trey doesn't quite go high enough, but he gets the speed pretty good. Leaves us just about six, seven feet for par. If you want to get close to this pin, you got to go much higher up the hill. The problem is then you catch more of the downslope coming down towards the pin, and it's tougher to get the speed right. Really tough putt. We left ourselves in a tough spot on this hole. That's a heartbreaker. Now we've got a tester for par. I think it's falling off the planet. It's not <laughs> This is where I start to second guess the reeds. So I'll trace, kind of cut across left, go well left of the hole. I adjust my reed to the right a little bit. Hit it much softer. And it was just the wrong reed. Our challenge was Trey and I were not in sync with putting stroke. We were doing two different things, and so it was difficult to learn much from the reed. There wasn't a lot of consistency from putt to putt. Made those tougher than they should have been. The 15th is an island green, tough shot, pin was all the way in the back, so if you're too aggressive, you can go over the green. Trey hits a great shot to 12 feet to start the hole. Shot, Trey. This shot's a lot easier when your partner has 12 feet. But I could have hit a better one. I was on the green about 20 feet. We we'll use Trace. Not my best. 12 feet for birdie. This would be a good bounce back after the bogey on the previous hole. Oh! But that one, he felt it, and you could see it. That putter's going to the right. It's just not a confident stroke at this point. Down. I hit that where I wanted. They're just not falling. Breeze. Easy par, but we've had great chances. 16th is a uphill par four. Trey smokes one down the middle. Oh no, I can't see it when he's that far ahead. Like I lose it. Being in grass? Yeah. You want to stay left of those blockers on the right hand side. This is one of the few poor tee shots I hit where I just blocked it. It ended up in the desert just by about six inches. I was glad Trey was in the middle. Great spot, just about 60 yards up the hill. But it's on a tabletop where you can't really see the green or the flag. The bottom of the flag. That looks pretty it. darn good. That's fine. Trey hit a great one. I'm trying to squeeze one, get a little check spin on it. Oh, wait, it. Go in. Yeah! <laughs> and didn't execute. So, another decent look at Birdie. This is about 15 feet. Another putt just hanging out to the right. Just not quite getting that putter face closed. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Woo! Wheaties this morning. This one's going in the hole. Felt good over the putt. But the read just wasn't right. Didn't expect that to go right. I finished the first nine holes at two under. 
room to improve on the back nine. Stay tuned.